Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. This is the listening section of the PDE Academic, the Instant Score Booster. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to familiarize yourself with the test format. We are today looking at part three. It has eight different question types which are listed and we will today look at how to manage the time for each question because the strange thing about the listening section is even though you it seems like you have a lot of time it also includes the audio lengths right so you have to really really understand which questions are uh, contributing more to your score which are higher weightage and therefore you want to spend more time there and less time on the questions which are not contributing as much and they are low weightage right so if you are looking for a 65 plus or a 79 plus the important question types the high weightage question types you really want to understand not just the time management but also how to uh, you know get them right and all the solving techniques you can check out my previous video for the summarized spoken text made easy so that you can understand that is the single biggest uh, highest weighted question of the listening section okay so let us look at the time management for part three that is listening uh, a word before we start off with this you will get a 10 minute break before the listening section uh, so after you complete your part one and part two you will get a 10 minute optional break i do recommend that you take the break because it will help you refresh uh, your mind and you can go to the washroom or drink some water and coffee and stuff but please make sure that you are back at your seat within eight minutes because even if you are a second late the first audio would have started off and if you miss the first minute that means you miss the first summarized spoken text question which we can't have so please make sure that you're back at your seat before the 10 minutes are over so that you do not miss the highest weighted question type summarized spoken text you can get two to four such questions again look at the detailed video for how to actually go about writing the summary but in this one i'm going to specifically talk about the time management section one of listening is approximately 20 to 30 minutes if you have two summarized spoken text that's 20 minutes if it's three then it's 30 minutes means you get 10 minutes in total per summarized spoken text inclusive of the audio length so one to two minutes the audio is going to play the audio is generally not longer than two minutes uh, and while the audio is playing you want to take down the notes and the keywords five to six minutes you have to actually type the summary into the window in front of you it will also show you the word limit please make sure that you stick strictly to this word limit write a minimum of 50 words anything less than that and you are going to be in trouble and same way you want to write a maximum of 70 words do not write anything longer than that follow the template uh, that are shared in my previous lessons or any other template that you have just make sure that whatever template you are using you are sure that it has no grammatical errors it has good sentence structure you can make three to four sentences and it has good usage of vocabulary you are not lifting sentences straight from the audio you are paraphrasing and using your own language or the language of the template the last two to three minutes you want to use to polish the summary now under this what all is included you want to focus on the spellings the grammar the vocabulary as well as the written discourse the written discourse means that uh, all of these enabling skills are going to be impacted by your summarized spoken test performance which means that you have to capture the main topic you have to be able to understand uh, at least some part of the audio so that you are able to give a decent attempt now looking at the section two so uh, let's let's see that half an hour is over or 20 minutes are over and then we move to section two where all the other listening questions are going to run together which means that unlike summary spoken text which is individually timed wherein you had 10 minutes per question and it was very easy to know when the time was over and when to go next in the second section of listening you do not have that sort of comfort therefore you have to click next by yourself to ensure that you get your points and you complete the test on time because if you are not able to complete the test on time and you're not aware of these things then you are not going to get uh, your target score so therefore in section two when should i click next that part i have mentioned it here and i will just explain it now 
we are going to rank the time that we spend on each question based on how much weightage it carries so the second highest weightage is of right from dictation and uh, strangely enough this question appears right at the end and because it's a very high weightage question and you are you have not made it to the end some people are skipping or they are not attempting and that's leading to a very drastic uh, score reduction so you have to make sure that you have to be able to get to all the right from dictation questions which appear which are the last set in the whole test and therefore until you have completed the entire section uh, and you have done even the last right from dictation please make sure that don't sit right so in the second half of the listening be very mentally alert be completely attentive and keep clicking next as per these weightages you might get all the other questions in any sequence that is highlight correct summary mcq multiple response mcq single response fill in the blank select missing word and highlight incorrect words if you are not aware of what these question types are please go to the pde orientation playlist on the veracity pde channel and you can check out what the screen looks like right because i'm not going to explain the questions today i'm just focusing on the timer aspect of it right so look at the weightages right after that the next high weightage is highlight correct summary four options that look very close again it is dependent on your summarizing abilities and again it uh, you have to use elimination techniques to arrive at the right answer you have to mark one answer it'll generally have two questions and mcq multiple response again two questions one to two questions and again so these three questions that is right from dictation highlight correct summary and mcq multiple response are going to contribute the next major chunk of your points after summarized spoken text so if you are targeting a 79 plus you really want to uh, study hard on these uh, question types right from dictation i'm going to explain the time breakup in detail in a bit but approximately you can have one minute after the question means after the audio has ended right so this is uh, this time on the right is not inclusive of the audio length you can spend one minute per question after the audio has stopped for right from dictation same way with highlight correct summary you can spend one to two minutes per question because it will take time to uh, eliminate the options and arrive at the correct answer for mcq multiple response also you can take anywhere from 45 seconds to one minute per question make sure that you mark at least two attempts for it to count as a complete attempt the other questions mcq single response again you can take 45 seconds ideally you can even take up to one minute please make sure that you mark the answer and again it will have options so it might take you a minute uh, or 45 seconds at least to actually arrive at the answer after the audio has stopped playing so this time that we are counting one minute is exclusive of the audio is after the audio has stopped after that's why i've written after the question on the right hand side that is how much time you can use the last three fill in the blanks uh spellings have to be checked therefore after typing the words in the blanks make sure that you still spend 10 minutes after the audio has stopped to spell check proofread select missing word you hear a beep and you mark the option you can't really do much there so there's no point sitting here and spending time on it 10 seconds after the question once you ensure that you've done the best that you could click next so these times means that this amount of time after the audio has stopped and then you have to click next highlight incorrect words you uh, the you again will you can't do anything once the audio has ended during the audio itself while it plays you have to click on the screen and the words will get highlighted whichever words are mismatched with the transcript and therefore you should not take be taking any extra time but you just want to take five seconds after the question to ensure that you have marked at least four words on the screen every highlight incorrect word will have a minimum of four mismatches so if you are getting only one or two you want to still make sure that you mark at least four because that is the minimum number that will be incorrect um so this is the breakup of the time management um, and i did take into account all of your feedback and that's why i've made a very short video for time management i'm not really going into the elaborate details of everything uh, because apparently then um, you know I mean, longer videos are a problem so therefore I try to compress all the useful information in a short video and if you want a detailed video on any particular topic you can request it in the comments I really love getting your feedback and I take it seriously into consider consideration so um, thank you for that right from dictation 
how to go about getting the maximum points from here apart from working on your overall speed and your listening comprehension and your typing skills you want to see that you have three to four questions each question is three to ten seconds long it is a single short audio sentence the while the sentence plays you will have an active text box underneath on the screen which is also going to be active you want to make sure that you are typing it in rough shorthand directly into the text box along with the audio right for example the sentence says the organization has made certain changes to its policies you are typing in the text box in sms form right d and orgn right h s m d c h n g s 2 alphabet 2 like that right so just in sms lingo or whatever shorthand you know just take down the full sentence do not try to write it perfectly along with the audio because you might end up missing out on the words and because this is a dictation and it's high weighted you cannot change anything you cannot change a single word here okay then you have 30 seconds to polish the text then you you know expand on it take 30 seconds and expand on it convert it from rough sms lingo into proper words right so the organization has made changes to its policy make sure that the first alphabet of sentence is capital yes that will make a difference so the organization that's how our sample sentence is starting so i will put a capital t and i will write the rest of the sentence and put a full stop at the end this is also very crucial if i put a full stop at the end only then will it count as a single complete sentence if i don't put a full stop there that means that it is not ended right so please make sure that you put the full stop um also if there are any apostrophes now punctuation is an important part of write from dictation as well so if the sentence is something like let's go to the seminar let apostrophe s must be written it's raining it apostrophe s do not expand or change make sure that the full stop is definitely there and the apostrophes are there no other punctuation is important uh, there will be one sentence at least which will contain an apostrophe and so make sure that you listen very very carefully and you practice and get better at it uh, i will shortly share um, a workbook for write from dictation as well so that you can use it and practice make sure that you do not leave this question incomplete right so 30 seconds to uh, actually type it in um, convert it from rough to uh, the sort of expand and 30 seconds to polish the text so one minute after the sentence has stopped the audio has stopped you can take one minute per question here you can spend that one minute to get all the points and so if you have to attempt four questions at the end you have to take minimum four minutes on this so if you are out of time and you still haven't started with your write from dictation then make sure that you rush a little faster through the other questions and arrive at right from dictation because this is really where you should be spending a minimum of four minutes. This brings me to the end of today's lesson. The listening section, timer, instant score booster, right from dictation overall tips. Apply it immediately, you are going to see a change in your score. If you have any queries, any doubts, please feel free to write to me at veracitymentors.org at gmail.com. Take care and have a great day. Bye.